We first got our spotted eagle rays here on site at Ripley's Aquarium of Canada in July of 2016. We were very, very excited to get them because they are so beautiful and very intelligent animals that we can do a lot of interesting work with in the tank. IUCN Red List lists them as near threatened, uh, which is why we're very excited to have a breeding program developing here at Ripley's Aquarium of Canada. We do ultrasounds on the female rays every six months or so, and our most recent time doing that, we were very, very excited to find a pup. We keep our juvenile rays here in the corral behind me. In the wild, they wouldn't have any parental care for the offspring. They're born and roam on their own, taking care of themselves. There are a few milestones that we look for in terms of um, helping us determine the health status of the animal. The first one that we're gonna be looking for is, is this animal navigating properly? Especially helpful because we did have two cacaunos rays in the corral already. So that provided a couple individuals for the pup to interact with. And we could see very early on that she was very good at navigating around the walls of the corral and even avoiding the other rays as they swim around. So we were really happy to see that behavior. The next milestone that we're going to be looking for after that is, is this animal eating? Stingray pups are born with lots of extra nutrition from the mother. They don't generally eat for the first couple weeks. Just yesterday, we had our first confirmed feeding for this new baby spotted eagle ray. So we are really happy and everything's going on track so far.